Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. I'm about to show you my settings for Deus Ex and the Steam Deck. I think they work pretty well. I have my trackpad on the right with all my augmentations and the button in the center actually allows you to bring up the HUD or hide it by pressing it for two seconds. If I activate the augmentations and I want to turn them all off, I just click the center button and they're off. Um, the idea is that you put your main melee weapon in slot nine to bring it up with the B button, which is also mapped to one of the back buttons of the device. And um, health items are supposed to be in slot eight. You can bring it up by pressing up on the D-pad. Um, here we have a sniper rifle, switching back to the sword. Um, so by pressing left trigger, you will zoom in. By letting go, it will zoom out. Um, you can toggle through or cycle through weapons with the left and right D-pad and also the Y button as if you're switching weapons in like, say something like Call of Duty. Um, on slot number four, I keep my, uh, my grenades that I wanna use. In this case, it's one of the, it's a, it's a lamb. Um, all I have to do is then press right shoulder button in order to bring it up, just like you would do in a game like Call of Duty. So I like to keep things like familiar. So I set games up like this, like as other shooters that I'm familiar with. On the left trackpad, which I'm doing right now, um, if you press left, it will lean left. If you press right, you will lean right. Up and down on the left trackpad, double press down is save, quick save. Double press up is quick load of your latest quick save. So that's easy access. Um, and yeah, it, it works. I would say it works pretty well. Everything is gyro enabled. Um, it runs like a breeze. Now these are the settings. This is Kenty's launcher you're seeing here. This is a launcher for Deus Ex because the vanilla version that you have on Steam runs, but it's not optimal. A Kenty's launcher allows you to run the game in higher FOVs, like a, with a better renderer. Um, here you can see some of my settings. So if you use my mappings on Steam, um, my Steam input profile, I advise you to match the settings I'm showing on the screen here. Now, after I run through this in this recording, you will actually see my Steam, uh, my Steam input profile that you can download onto your Steam Deck. So I'm running the game through Kenty's launcher in DirectX 10, which is, I got it to run with some, some difficulty. Uh, the nice thing is that it can unlock the frame rate of the game, but you can also run it through DX9 or OpenGL and it runs at a solid 60 frames per second because the it's it's a big hassle to get DX10 working and it's not even perfect. You're gonna see some stuttering during the gameplay uh, and that's because that's not because of the Steam Deck, that's actually because the render doesn't work perfectly. Um, so just switch to DX9 or to uh, OpenGL in, um, in Kenty's launcher. If you go with a higher FOV, you'll notice that, you can't see it in the video, but you'll notice when you f fire up the game for the first time is that the view models of the weapons don't match. Um, you can fix that by uh, following the link down into the description. There are actually people who have modified the Deus Ex game files for, um, you know, to, to match certain uh, FOV settings that the game wasn't originally built to support to fix the view models. Because like the gap gun, you can't see it here, but the gap gun like is basically floating in space right in front of your eye. It's like it's really weird. But if you just match the um, in the link down in the description, if you match the selection. Um, you that you use to replace the game files in your system folder with, or your game folder, um, everything should work fine. So in the case of the Steam Deck, it's the 16 by 10 folder, and in my case, I chose the um, 10 by, sorry, 110 adjustment FOV. And that's it. Uh, the rest of this video is just gonna be a bit, bit of gameplay. And uh, yeah, I really advise people to follow my lead here, because it's like the game runs so well, and I'm so impressed with Deus Ex. It's an amazing game. I cannot believe I never played this before. Uh, and I get why people think this is like one of the best, if not the best game ever made. So have fun.
freight base is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? You met Go Command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. I can't speak for Command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nano orbs are born and break killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the combat next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. I'll check back with you later. Welcome aboard, Agent. Okay, you need to find Tracer Tom. He used to drop Paul off in a small compound east of the market. You can start there. Don't lose any time. Your kill switch is 12 hours old. If you die, our plans will fail. Okay, Tracer Tom. Who's asking? Our buddy Vinny said to expect. 
Think you can find out what's going on in there? Go for it. Is FEMA really running the show? FEMA and the Chinese? I don't like the smell of it one bit. Me either. This key will open the main gate. The guard just inside the main building entrance will let you pass. But don't expect any hospitality from the FEMA people. We are help! Oh, ah! Lock and load. Thank you. 